India's solar mission Aditya L1 successfully launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh at 11:50 a.m. The mission aims to reach its destination in 125 days. After the successful launch of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the world has its eyes set on the Aditya L1 launch. Approximately 63 minutes after liftoff, the satellite separation is expected to take place as the PSLV will launch the Aditya L1 spacecraft into a highly eccentric Earth-bound orbit at around 11:53 p.m. Following the launch, Aditya L1 will stay in Earth-bound orbits for 16 days, during which it will undergo five maneuvers to gain the necessary velocity for its journey. With the successful launch of the Aditya L1 mission, the PSLV rocket carrying the Aditya L1 has embarked on a 1.5 million kilometer journey to halo orbit around the sun. The spacecraft is expected to be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrangian point L1, which is considered closest to the sun. The major objectives of the mission include understanding the coronal heating and solar wind acceleration, the initiation of coronal mass ejection and near earth space weather and the solar wind distribution. The Aditya L1 mission carries seven scientific payloads to carry out the study. Four of the payloads will observe the light from the sun and the remaining three will measure in situ parameters of the plasma and magnetic fields. Aditya L1's trajectory towards the sun will be a complex one and will involve several phases. The path is not straight and will include a lot of twists. After being launched, Aditya L1 will be placed in a low earth orbit which will be circular. This stage is known as the earth-centered orbit transfer. Aditya L1 will perform three earthbound orbit raising maneuvers or perigee burns to ensure that after each step the orbit becomes more elliptical. The spacecraft will be propelled towards the L1 point using onboard propulsion. As the spacecraft moves towards the Lagrange point, it will exit Earth's gravitational sphere of influence. After leaving Earth's SOI, the cruise phase of the mission will commence. Subsequently, the spacecraft will be injected into a large halo orbit around the Lagrange point L1. After Aditya L1 inserts itself into the halo orbit L1 and stabilizes itself, the spacecraft will start orbiting L1. This is a special point where the gravitational pulls from the Earth and the Sun balance each other out, as a result of which Aditya L1 will simply hover around L1. Once the spacecraft gets to this long range point, it will not just stop. It is like a slow and graceful dance around that point. But here is the catch. There is no physical object there like a planet or moon. Instead the spacecraft moves because of the tugging from the sun's gravity and earth's gravity. The mission's primary scientific objectives encompass the examination of solar upper atmospheric dynamics including chromosphere and corona, investigation of chromospheric and coronal heating, plasma physics, coronal mass ejections, flares and the analysis of in situ particle and plasma surroundings, contributing data for comprehending particle dynamics originating from the sun. The instruments aboard Aditya L1 are finely tuned to observe the solar atmosphere, particularly the chromosphere and corona, while in situ instruments will gather data about the local environment at the L1 point. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.